created some of them. An American will say that Thomas Edison did. And of course, Donald Trump will insist that he did. <laughs> In 1995, the DGA, WGA, and MPA created the Franco-American Cultural Fund to foster dialogue and understanding between the filmmakers of our two countries. And soon thereafter, they created Colcoa, a showcase of new French films in Hollywood. 22 years later, it has become the biggest festival of French language films in the world outside of France. Proving Proving the impossible, the DGA, WGA, and MPA can, in fact, get along. <laughs> this year, the Franco-American Cultural Fund's Board of Directors has dared to change the successful formula we've had for the last 22 years, moving Colcoa to September. Why? Because we believed that we'd be able to capture the absolute best French films on the heels of Cannes, Venice, Toronto, and New York. And we think you're going to agree when you experience the amazing films that Francois and his new selection committee will be presenting this week, starting tonight with Les Miserables, announced on Friday as France's selection for the Oscar race. <laughs> I'd like to thank our board members, Jean-Noël Tronc of SACIM, Howard Rodman and Andrea Burloff of the WGA, Charles Rivkin and Stan McCoy of the MPAA, and Michael Mann and Jay Roth of the DGA for having the courage to try something new. Now, COCOA is also about celebrating the artistic collaboration that goes into making great films work, and tonight, we're going to focus on music. Now, imagining a film without music is like imagining Christmas without Santa, or a night without cannabis. <laughs> it's just not the same. And it seems impossible to imagine the world of composing without Michelle Legrand who passed away this year. Michelle was the poster child for cross-cultural collaboration, composing the scores for over 200 films. He was equally brilliant as a songwriter, winning Césars, Oscars, and Grammys for both his songs and his scores. Tonight, Colcoa celebrates the brilliant Michelle Legrand.